Two, team keep it clean. Boy, that game was crazy from start to finish. Shout out to the Chiefs for getting a crazy comeback win. Shout out to the Browns for, for really bringing it to them and taking it down literally to the wire. Boy, so Patrick Mahomes is still undefeated in September. We'll see if next week changes that, but we can't worry about that right now. Anyway, um, this game started off. Browns came out there with their chest out. They said, let's go. They got the touchdown. Nick Chubb, he was running for touchdowns. And then after the first touchdown that they got, um, there was a penalty. And the Browns were like, nah, we ain't kicking no extra. Man, we going for two on these boys, man. And they went for two with Kareem Hunt, and they got it. They got it. Their running game was being effective. Their passing game, because the run game helps, especially in the Brown scheme and Kevin Stefanski scheme, the run is, is so dependent on the run game because the run game opens stuff up. Uh, and the, if you keep running good on teams, on defenses and whatnot, that opens up that play action because people start biting. And, boy, these Browns, boy, they, oh, they brought it to the Chiefs. They brought it to KC in KC. You know what's crazy loud there, but the Browns, they had the Chiefs on hush hush for for a little while, for a little while, not too long. But because you just you just knew, not necessarily knew that the Chiefs were gonna come back and win, but you knew they were gonna come back and make it a much closer game than it was looking initially. Um, Baker Mayfield throughout this game, he was doing his thing. Um, he did lose his uh, left tackle. What was it, Jedrick Jedrick Willis? I want to say, uh, but he lost him. Uh, and that, that's a big blow. That's a huge blow. I uh, didn't have Odell Beckham Jr. this game. I remember seeing something yesterday saying, oh, Odell Beckham Jr. is questionable. No, uh, yeah, he's going to play. But he didn't play. They said he didn't look good in warm-ups. Uh, so they, they kept him out. And they got to remember that this is it's a long season. So even though you want Odell Beckham Jr. out there, you need Odell Beckham Jr. out there, you got 16 games left. So, yeah, you, you'll be okay. No need to rush anybody back because it's a very, very long season. Um, the Browns, the, Miles Garrett and Jadavian Clowney, they were getting after it. Uh, and and they, what, what the Browns were doing very well early on, they were tackling great. They were doing some great tackling early on in this game, and that helped them get out to the lead. I loved, loved, love, 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 love how aggressive they were from jump, even just just to show you exactly how aggressive these boys were. Remember the play, the last play of the half. You're not in field goal range. You could just do a running play, run out the clock. You could even do a screen play or something, a short pass. What is, get some extra bonus. No. They passed the ball. I forgot who Baker passed it to. Maybe it was Kareem Hunt, but I know Kareem Hunt ended up with the ball in his hand. He pitched it back. He pitched it back to Baker Mayfield. Baker Mayfield was running. Or maybe it was Baker Mayfield that was running and pitched it back to Kareem. And then he, I forgot what happened, but I love how they were like, hey, we got to take every single opportunity we can possibly get because we know these Chiefs, we know they got some crazy stuff in them. I don't know what it is, but they got some crazy plays in them to where they just, they are insane. So we have to capitalize on literally everything. And they, they were holding it down. They were holding down Patrick Mahomes and the shit. Even though Tyreek Hill, throughout the game, he was like going off. And you just, you were like, oh, Tyreek Hill keep making all these crazy catches. And I love with Tyreek Hill. I love how with him, he, he'll catch the ball. And then he'll always look to make somebody miss. But it's, it's like it's different from other receivers because he'll he'll go back and he'll lose some yards. He'll catch the ball and he'll go back a little bit. And it's risky, but he knows how fast he is so he can take those risks. And he knows that nine times out of ten, the risks usually work out for him. One thing about Patrick Mahomes that I, I, I absolutely admire and appreciate about his game is that he is not afraid. He's not afraid. This guy, it was, what play? It was, on, it was like a third and two. He had a receiver, I think it was the running back, right in front of him, like five yards in front of him. He could have he could have uh, hit, the, hit the running back. Easy gain, easy completion. But no, he took off. He turned into Patrick Vick. And th <laughs> excuse me, then there was another play where he, he does the same thing where he can make it easy play. He can make an easy check down, but he's like, no. He goes for those more difficult throws, the harder throws to where he goes for them big chunk plays. Um, and then, of course, the play that really got the momentum swinging in the Chiefs' favor 
was when he was scrambling, scrambling, rolling out, rolled out to his right, and then was like, Ugh! and then uh, John Johnson, the Browns' new safety who they got from the Rams, he just he, he didn't track the ball. Tyreek Hill caught it, and that was it, man. That was it. And he did like a little mini peace sign. He did like a peaceful peace sign because he ain't do his normal peace sign because he like, man, these refs, they've been tripping on these taunting calls. I ain't trying to mess this touchdown up. So he did like a little, okay, peace. And, of course, he got his new company with the gloves and stuff, which that is so smart, man. Wow, that, 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 was, that was so smart to take advantage, to turn a negative into a positive. I, I love that. So shout out to Tyreek Hill for that. Of course, um, and, and just going back and forth, Travis Kels with that beautiful, because it's Kels, not Kelsey. I'm pretty, I'm like 99% sure it's Kels. But anyway, Travis Kels with that beautiful, like the 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 corner, whether that was a cornerback or a safety, I don't remember. He was way too on. He was he was working the inside too much. You, it's it's Travis Kelsey. You gotta you gotta be ready for everything. But he gave him too much space. Kels beat him on that move. And he was wide open, and and he, and he did a little extra move to get the uh, touchdown, but he certainly did his thing. Um, where this game, like that's where the 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 Chiefs had got momentum, obviously on a Patrick Mahomes to uh to Tyreek Hill touchdown to that that long what was it seventy five yard bomb something like that. But then where the Browns messed up. Oh man, first um because Brown because to beat the Chiefs, you you gotta play like perfect man. Especially like these, like the Chiefs period. I'm about to say these Chiefs in September, but they're good all year. They're great all year. You have to play pretty much perfectly. Nick Chubb, he had the fumble, and it was like, oh boy, these Browns, they collapsing. Then on the punt, where the punter muffed it, I was like, oh, these Browns are collapsing big time. They're shooting themselves in the foot. With a shotgun, with no socks on, man. They shot themselves right in the foot. Because early on in the first half, they were doing everything right, man. They were doing everything right, and Chiefs were just slipping, falling. They couldn't get up. But that's why you play two halves. That's why it's four quarters. It's not a two-quarter game. It's four quarters, and the Chiefs showed exactly that. Now, for the Browns. Um... Miles Garrett, yeah, he, he, he's, he's still that dude. He's still that dude. Um, but just overall with their team, they're going to be in great shape, man. For this to be your first game and for you to go out there and play like that, they put up points. Their defense made some plays, but their defense just, they could only hold the Chiefs for so long. That's why you, you got to play mistake-free football against Kansas City. But Browns, they're, they're going to be a good team. They were a good team last year. They should be even better this year than they were last year because their roster got even better. Their roster continues to improve. They, uh, they, they have consistency with coaching, and that's big. So they, they'll be fine. So I know, and, and I know with Browns fans, I think, and I'm, and I'm not saying this in a trash-talking way, but I think Browns fans, they know how to be realistically optimistic about their team despite a game like this. Yeah, they're upset that they lost, of course. Nobody likes losing, but... From all the uh, the losing that they've done over the years, they 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 know what a good team looks like, and they can look at last year and be like, "No, oh yeah, we got some. Yeah, we lost to the Chiefs, but that's the Chiefs. That's the Chiefs. The Chiefs are the Chiefs. They are the top AFC team right now until somebody dethrones them. So Browns, they ain't got nothing to worry about in that in those regards. Now with the Chiefs, this was just another day at the office. Another dramatic field game with they end up coming back and just doing all this crazy stuff. Now, one thing, because me being a Ravens fan, Orlando Brown Jr. Oof. Orlando Brown Jr. Uh, I remember just seeing a lot of Ravens fans be like, Orlando Brown, he's not that good anyway. He's gonna struggle in KC. All that 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 passing, like he's going from a running offense to that makes offensive linemen look better to a passing offense. So he's gonna struggle over there. He's gonna struggle with speed like he did here. And some some Ravens fans were saying it out of hate because they're like, oh man, he wants to get traded. Da, da, da. Then he ended up going to the Chiefs and like, oh man, he went. <laughs> why do we make the Chiefs who always beat us? Why do we make them even stronger? But he was struggling at night, boy. He was struggling, um, and they were just blowing right past. Now it is Jadavian Clowney and Miles Garrett, so I gotta give him that. Those are two 
good pass rushers. But still, um, that's going to be something to keep an eye on just moving forward. Because uh, I was thinking, like, like there were some people that said stuff, like I said, out of hate. Just because somebody on your team is they asking to be traded, then they go to, to that team. But um, a lot of the comments that I saw ended up being true tonight. But something to keep in mind, it is just the first game. So no need to overreact, no need to underreact. We just got to just keep it moving. Keep it moving. Uh, and hopefully, for Orlando Brown Jr.'s sake, hopefully he can, he improves. Not next week. <laughs> you, you can take off next week, Orlando Brown Jr. Just relax next week, but the week after, then you can start doing the improvements. Next week, we don't need you to be good. <laughs> anyway, team, keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. Uh, Kansas City and Cleveland, I appreciate you all for just having a great game. It was looking like, man, I was thinking, uh-oh. And, I mean, it's it's an AFC uh, opponent. But I was thinking, uh-oh, the uh, the Bengals won, which I had not known until I started seeing, like, highlights and stuff, that overtime game with the Vikings. So I, I was like, the Bengals won, uh-oh. Is Cleveland about to beat these Chiefs? Uh-oh. And the Steelers won earlier. Uh-oh. All the AFC North teams won. So my Ravens up next. But the Browns end up taking a little pressure off. But still, Ravens still got to take care of business. But we'll see that game tomorrow. Anyway, I love y'all, Team Keep It Clean. I appreciate y'all. Shout out to all the new Team Keep It Clean patrons. Thank you for showing extra support to the channel. And if you want to become a Team Keep It Clean patron, you can just go to patreon.com slash engravenvids. I love y'all. This was a fun, fun, fun day of football. And it ain't even over yet because we still got Bears Rams. But I appreciate y'all. I will see you all tomorrow. We are out.